Hello guys welcome to my channel, since the Ktube gods require every upcoming Ktuber to make one of these videos I will be reacting to unpopular opinions of Reddit, I'm not doing a disclaimer because you numpties should know how these videos work and if you have a problem with my existence after I say something you dislike, cry to your depressed brick well about it, Enagi, enjoy the video. The first opinion is I don't want his own to get back together, I agree as much as I liked his own they were only a temporary group and it's only fair for them to disband since other produce groups like, Wanon and IOI had to also disband two years after, I also found towards the end their comebacks were starting to get stale, Secret Story of the Swan was the only recent comeback by them I actually liked, I wish the members luck in their solo activities and so should Wizon. The second opinion is Swa of Dreamcatcher shouldn't be getting the amount of difficult lines she does, after watching the vocal of stages I noticed, she's a good vocalist but the lines they give her are higher than what any lead vocalist should be getting, she's also only the fourth best vocalist in the group so I don't understand why she has to always get high notes, it doesn't help she has a nasally voice which can make the high notes even more unpleasant. Some companies have a habit of really pushing their lead vocalists too far, the best examples being Naeon and Jimin, the notes they get are sometimes ridiculously high even for some main vocalists, main vocalists should always get the highest notes and lead vocalists should get notes that are more toned down otherwise their voices will get really strained, which leads to damage. The third opinion is I don't see a problem with idols over their mid-twenties doing cute and bright concepts, I don't have a problem with whatever a group's concept is as long as the idols themselves are comfortable with it, some idols seem to like cute concepts and others seem awkward, whenever I see an idol look uncomfortable on stage it ruins the performance for me because an idol should enjoy their own music, there is nothing wrong with an adult doing cute concepts sexy concepts or badass concepts at the end of the day music is music and the concept of the song doesn't affect how good it is or how talented the idol is who is doing them, I'm also tired of toxic masculinity not allowing boy groups to freely do cute concepts anymore, TXT was such a breath of fresh air when they debuted with an bright and colorful concept compared to the sea of boy crush and edginess, I hope we can have more groups doing cute concepts again this year. The fourth opinion is I don't care if idols are friends or not, I'm glad someone finally said it, people always drag groups like Blackpink and Red Velvet for their quote unquote, bad chemistry, I don't really think it matters if groups are that close or not, however they need to be good work friends and they should at least have on stage chemistry for good performances, groups also have to live with each other train with each other and go almost everywhere together especially during promotions and during tours, so the idols should be able to get along well otherwise their lives will become a living hell, there's a big pressure on groups for all the members to constantly be besties and while I enjoy watching groups who genuinely are, I honestly couldn't care less if idols were friends outside of their career, people's judgment of what good friendships look like is also misguided. Not all friends need to constantly mess around together, hug, hold hands and go wee on the swings together, just because idols aren't always acting close to each other doesn't mean they're automatically not close, people have their own ways of showing emotions. The fifth opinion is that no K-pop song was ahead of its time, I disagree over the years have have definitely been songs released that were hated at first then a few years later people realized they were masterpieces, mainly in second third gen there were so many groups who were way ahead of the trends, not every song needs to be something technologically advanced to be called ahead of its time, but some fandoms do take it too far by making out their faves are like the second coming of Queen or Michael Jackson when all their faves did was used a skunk fart as an instrument like NCT did with hot sauce. The sixth opinion is that Ice is the only listenable song. I agree, Ice Cream is my favorite Blackpink song. JK <laughs> 
Got it. Hey, I actually like ice cream but the lyrics ruined the entire song for me. My favorite parts are Jenny and Rose's verses. The vocals are nice and I actually like the non-existent chorus. I just wish BTS and Black Pink would stop letting white people on board of their team. The seventh opinion is that I understand why some people hate BTS, and soon you'll understand what you are, go outside, go behind your house, open up a manhole cover, jump in, walk two miles, go through the dungeon, climb into JYP's apartment, go in his bathroom, look in the toilet, yeah that's what you are understand that question mark. Fuck off! The eighth opinion is that almost all K-pop idols are better off in their groups than solo I disagree, I think it depends on the group and idol but I think of many members of many different groups that would excel as soloists, I think the members that would struggle would be the members that aren't popular or don't have any main positions in the group since they don't have the star factor alone that they would with the other members backing them up. I think the majority of idols have a fair shot at becoming big soloists though, especially the ones in high-profile groups. The ninth opinion is that best friends by Saidi, Doja Cat, Jamie and Chanmina is the best western pop collab, um guess I've been wanting to rant about this all day that collab was so good. All of the members were great and they worked so great together I love bad bitch collabs and they didn't disappoint me like all the other collabs did. Jamie ate up her verse which I was surprised by because I was expecting her to be average like most K rappers but she delivered plus I love Doja Cat as well. I'm still waiting for a J-Hope and Doja Cat collab though, at Bigit. Opinion 10 JYP is not the best at dance SM is, I disagree I think Jype's dances are better especially nowadays, I don't really think many of SM choreos are that amazing a lot of them don't really show the idols full potential as dancers since they re usually vocally based, JYP isn't the best either but, it's a, stray kids and twice's choreos stand out much more to me. If we're talking about technique then SM does have a lot more better individual dancers like Boa and Tmen but even then groups like, Red Velvet, Shiny, FX, EXO, SNSD and NCT aren't even dance focused so their choreography is mostly average. Both companies are on similar but I find Jipe's choreos more stand out and eye catching. The next opinion is JYP is hot. HMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMMM